welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. I don't have much time to talk because we just made it to Cronulla and I'm about to go on my run. We'll see how I go because my feet have been pretty bad lately. So I'm probably just going to go about 5Ks and then if I need a walk, I'm just going to walk like so be it. So today I'm just going to show you what I've been doing in isolation, trying to get fit and healthy and also doing a bit of swimming here and there. <laughs> I just finished my 5k run. I wasn't feeling great this morning, like my feet weren't feeling great, just because I went on a really good run yesterday. I sort of knew they weren't gonna be great, but I still got it done, and now I'm about to go and press them. In loss, in loss, oh my god, you can be there. Chlorine is my perfume. <laughs> Bella, it's more like salt water. Oh, look at my hair, look at this. This is yeah. not okay. <laughs> Hey guys, my mum's a hairdresser. Yeah, it looks so short. Hannah is not impressed. No. She's like the most princessy person I've ever met. The gorgeous. Yeah. I know. The wow. gorgeous blonde. Gorgeous. Dumb blonde. Now it's turning brown. At least I'm a fake How blonde. It's not going. a dumb blonde. Yay. <laughs> Where's Hales? I always swim with Hannah Banana. Literally everyone comes, but I swim with Hannah because, you know, she's just the perfect yeah. speed. Just finished our beach session. Wasn't the best session this morning. Oh my gosh, it was so choppy. But we still did about a K and a half swimming, probably a little bit further than that, and then some in and out. But there's just like no point swimming, and you have to swim so far out. That, oh my god, I thought I was gonna get eaten by a shark. Oh my god, I'm so hungry, I can't even think. So I just had a shower. I actually booked an appointment with my doctor. It was just like a call because we're in isolation. Because I've been having really bad problems with my stomach because I've been getting really bloated and my body is fluctuating so much i know that could be just because i'm growing and all that sort of stuff so i have to go have a blood test but it's okay when i had blood test i was like no 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 i couldn't eat but he said i could eat because i'm so hungry so i'm gonna have oats so let's get crack a lack in one aren't we i've been trying to only eat whole foods and natural products so pretty much fruit vegetables meat like when i go to race i know a lot of people drink powerade i cannot do anything like that i've drunk in powerade before it actually makes me feel so sick so i've not messed with powerade since so there's a lot of food that i can't eat because it's artificial but i try to just stick to whole foods that are natural have products in it that i know of so if i look on the back of a packaging and i don't know what it is i don't eat it Ugh. I just keep talking, one sec. And I've been really trying to not lose weight, but maintain a nice weight because I fluctuate so much. And I did some research lately and it's because of bloating. So if you're bloated, you're not going to lose weight because you have so much water weight. So I'm trying to eat foods that won't make me bloated that will make me feel good and then hopefully that stops my body from fluctuating literal deliquacine let's hit it i literally find myself such a cat bitch like ready 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 three two one oh my god it's still me don't worry guys it's still millie rose don't click off it's Millie Rose, she just looks a little bit different because she's a catfish. Don't hate at me, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it. So cringy. Sister, let's go get a blood test. Ugh, so annoying. So we just waited 40 minutes in the line to get my blood test. And then we get in finally and he's like, oh, sorry, I don't do kids. I'm like, you serious? So now we have to drive all the way to Janali. How far is Janali? 15 minutes. I am serious. Oh my God. Don't call me Shirley. I don't even know what just happened. Siri just started talking to me. I just got back from my blood test. These people literally took two minutes. Other place, 
about a 40 minute wait <sighs> anyway i'm so tired lately but i have no clue why i'm so tired like my bedtime now it's like eight o'clock but yeah i'm really tired so i'm just gonna have a sleep now i'm just gonna make myself a salad just the same salad i have every single day literally every single day the same ingredients the same the same everything I'm probably going to get bored of it sometime soon, but until I get bored, I'm still doing that. About six months ago, I had a salad every single day, every day, every day, every day. And then I couldn't eat salad for so long, but now I'm back onto salad, which is good. Oh, and I was looking for this onion for so long, and I was like, Mom, where's the onions? Where's the onions? She's like, look harder, look harder. I always know this happens. She always tells me to look harder. And 95% of the time it's there, but like I always make this big fuss like, we have no tomatoes, look harder. Oh, we actually have tomatoes. <laughs> okay, you're probably thinking, how can someone eat a salad that big? Watch me, sisters, watch me. Everyone, Grace. Bully Grace. Grace. Bon appetit. What does that mean? Um, de la cuisine. Everyone. Tuck in. Finito. Now for the worst part of being a swimmer or playing any sport really. Physio exercises. You could tell me to do like a one hour cardio session. I'll do it without any excuses. Physio exercises, the worst thing. It takes five minutes, but it's like the worst five minutes ever. Anyway, I don't know what it is about physio exercise, but I just really don't like it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna go back to uploading once a week. So that's every Sunday because I was uploading three times a week and that was so much for me. I was trying really hard. I was sitting at the desk all day and at the end of the day, I don't feel like I was living this happy lifestyle like I was claiming to you guys that I was because I wasn't. And I guess that's because I was passionate. I, I am passionate about it. A lot of people were like, oh my God, upload twice a week, three times a week, upload every day. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that now we're in isolation but I literally just can't do it it's too much for me but I guess when you're passionate about something you want to put your whole effort into it but I think I've found what is what I am more passionate about because now I realize I have two things that I want to succeed in and I want to do well at and that is YouTube and my swimming but I feel like swimming is so much more important and I need YouTube to revolve around my life and not my life revolve around YouTube, if you get what I mean. Because I feel like I was working so hard at it that I forgot to do the little things like do my few stretches or drink this much water. But I guess when you're passionate about something, your life sort of is about it. I know with my swimming, I say my life is swimming. Although I may not be always doing swimming, I'm always thinking about it. I'm always like, oh, I need to drink this much water today or I should stretch for this long before training or I should work on this at training. I want to do distance tonight. That's just what happens for me because when I'm passionate about something, I want to put my whole heart into it. And I guess that just wasn't happening while I was doing my YouTube so much. So now I'm going back to once a week. I think it's so much more maintainable and sustainable for my goals. I think now I'm just going to do a 10 minute core workout i actually uploaded a core workout onto my youtube channel like two days ago and i'm just gonna do that one so if you guys want to check out this video it's a 10 minute ab workout i wrote 14s it's not actually 14s anyone can do the workout so i'm gonna do that one now my camera is about to die so you won't get to watch the whole workout All right let's go oh my god i'm listening to my own voice that's so weird. Oh, I'm behind by five seconds. Oh my god. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. I ate these before.
before my camera died so I couldn't show you but these are really good these are actually completely fine on my stomach in terms of packaged foods hello honey do you want to go for a walk you look tired. Come on, boy, let's go for a walk. Come on. Okay, so what I usually do is I take Jetty for a walk every day because I set myself a goal that I was going to take him every day for a walk just to get out of the house. And I think it's really good for him. He enjoys it. So that's what I do. And then I go for a run after I take him for a walk because he can't run. He's like the most unfit dog ever. So I'm training him up to be an athlete. Yee -hoo, yee -hoo. So yeah, I'll take him for a walk and then I'll probably go for a run. What I do is I go for like a sprint kind of run before my Zoom session. So yesterday I did 3K. I'm probably not going to do 3K today, but I'll probably do a little bit less. It's just like a time trial just to get my heart rate up before my Zoom session. Let's go. So before I go for my run for afternoon tea, I'm just having scrambled eggs with Vegemite on a corn thin. Guys, I've still been working on my chin-ups every single day. Yesterday, I did a new PB of eight chin-ups. So I'm gonna try and match that. I don't know how I'm feeling on nine because eight was a bit of a struggle, but I'll just try my best. <laughs> for my run now I'm just doing a quick 1.5k just to get my heart rate up and I need to be quick because the zoom session starts in 15 minutes okay I'm back one and a half k's okay the zoom session is in five minutes now so I gotta hurry hello But now I'm gonna have a stretch. It's just gonna be a really quick 10 minute one because I'm tired. I've been so tired all day and I just wanna go to sleep. It's literally seven o'clock right now, but I'm out. I'm out like a light. So let's get this stretch done. guys liked it like I said before this video is not an exact estimate of what I do every day because obviously every day is different I do different things but this is just what I did today I try and mix up all the time I'm really tired so I'm about to go to bed it's literally 7 30 I don't know what it is today but I have just been so tired like I'm so ready for sleep. I've really been prioritizing the little things like going to bed early. As you would have seen from this video, I am a very active person. I'm always doing something. It can be the littlest things, but I'm always doing something. I'm never not doing anything. If I'm not sleeping, I'm doing something. Like I never get bored. Literally, I haven't watched TV this whole isolation time. I just find other things to do that is way more fun than sitting on my butt all day. But it's really weird, I wouldn't call myself a super social person, so I'm actually really enjoying this isolation time. Like obviously I love my friends and all that, and I do get to see some of them every day, but I would say I'm a really quality over quantity kind of person. I'm very content with what I'm doing. People know, like, don't ask me to do something on the weekend because I'm probably gonna say no because I probably have something on. Or I'm just so tired that I need a break. This isolation time is really not affecting me. I know it is affecting so many other people, but obviously I'm missing the pool so much and I just wanna go back. Like, 
I am a super social person like I'll talk to everyone I'll have a quick chat but like I definitely don't need that to make me happy I'm happy and content with my family the few really good friends that I have all right I'm so tired I'm about to pass out so I'm gonna sign off here I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe click the notification bell and comment down below if you like this video also go follow me on instagram at millie pollock because i post on there a lot i'm quite the insta story spammer so go follow me all right bye guys see you next time Mwah.